probably wondering, wait, what? Jay Zero doesn't do discussion news type things, videos about certain Pokemon, but I am so fucking hype right now. You don't understand. And lately, I don't, yo. Know, discuss my opinions i will probably do it on a live stream and knowing the fact that i saw this these final starters i already seen the uh, i already been seeing these but now i could be like so so what's up but before i even do that before i even explain myself to these starters let's just let's just go ahead and go down here we just try to drag this uh, let me just click on it then hopefully it'll work uh, let it load um, let me just bring my laptop a little bit front of me so I could probably bring a little bit more light to my face um, I am so shocked at what you just did to it but they brung back the battle tree and if you guys remember 5th gen we had a battle tree in black and white too the fact that they brung it back it's crazy because now it's saying that oh they're going to give us more of a challenge for the 7th gen 2 we got new additional people that are going to be part of that but it's going to be new people but old people from the previous generation games that will be taking part of this battle tree like first up will be red and blue red and blue are the original characters from Kanto that from gen 1 that we all know they are a little bit older and mature as you can see here, uh, I think Red is actually wearing a, looks like a Megastone bracelet. I don't see Blue wearing one, but he could be wearing some, something that probably represents Megastone. So he might have his Megastone somewhere hidden amongst his clothing or something. But as you look at Red's uh, actual arm, on his right, on his, what is his left or his right? On his left arm, there's like a little bracelet there. It looks similar to the uh, X and Y's ring, uh, you know, Megastone bracelet. So that's pretty interesting. And the fact that he's representing the t shirt from 96, representing the old school gen, uh, that's pretty cool. But it, it shows that he has grown up that this is a little bit later in the series of the game. Like it's, like I said how I was thinking about the, what you call it, the game being like 20 years later into the game. This could be even probably a little bit further. I want to say a little bit further, but then you got to think of, well, how far is it into the game is it 20 years later is it 10 years later because red looks like he could be like way up there in his 20s literally same thing goes for blue blue looks like he could be in his 20s right now so the fact that all of these guys all these these two originals right here look like they're in their 20s makes makes sense right that the game will be at least 20 years like later right uh, I'm trying to go down. I don't know why my mouse ain't doing anything. Hold up. That's weird. Okay. You gonna move now? You gonna move now? No, you're not gonna move. Okay. Let me just. Uh, I don't know why it's in that movie. Probably the internet's so slow here that it just don't want to move. It doesn't want to go down. But as we're progressing it all the way down, 
uh, there's Cynthia who comes back from Force Gen. So that's going to be cool to see Cynthia. Also a champion who's going to be part of that battle tree. Uh, we also see that if we could go a little bit further down, we're going to see um, another returning trainer from third gen who will be Wally. And it's like, it's trying to say like, maybe uh, we might, oh, I guess they don't show Wally right here. But Wally is going to be in there in the third gen. I don't know if they're going to actually introduce all the other trainers in in this situation because it looks like they might bring back some of the other gym leaders the other uh leaf four members in here um it was also the same way with black and white too where they did where they brought uh the tournament thing as well um uh, and then the whole thing about the pokemon league that they're trying to uh they're trying to build the pokemon league now Knowing the fact that the battle tree has something to do with the Pokemon League, it's trying to build us up so we can go against the League. Now, I don't know if they're they already have the gym, you know the League members there already, or we're gonna be the champ, or we're we gonna still you know the whole point of the battle tree is to build us to go become that particular champ. That's what it looks like now we don't have a complete full information about the league all we know is the fact that we're gonna have to beat the uh well as we beat all the trials and probably beat the battle tree maybe that will set us up for the uh pokemon league probably not maybe you have to we just do the challenges itself we go against the league. Uh, but it's crazy how they got us to do this and do this. And there's like a lot more to the post games here and whatnot. So that's cool. That's very, very cool. Uh, okay, now I'm trying to move it back up. Come on. Yeah, something's like really like interfering with the internet here. Cheers, I'm trying to go back up. There we go. Go back up. But that's crazy. That's that just makes more sense when you think about it. The fact that one this and this could happen, two, that and that could happen, three, you know, you may never know what exactly could happen. Let me just make it bigger. Like, I try to make the image a little bit bigger. <clears throat> so you guys can, like, see it a little bit better. Okay. Hopefully that's a lot much better. Hopefully it all fixed out and the internet will stop being such a slow piece of shit. <laughs> okay. But uh, now we could try to get to where the Pokemon are at. Come on. Come on. Because I want to get to that to the bottom of the point here. With the starters, I know you guys would too, cause like everybody was so so much complaining about it, and I was like, you know, it doesn't matter to me, you know, as long as it's like, I guess I'm more like concerned about like the how it looked or if the stats would be good to me because you know I kind of do competitive battling and sometimes I don't do competitive battling so I like to see from both sides how good set Pokemon are especially since they're starters 
or they're at least better than the uh, I would say at least better than the fifth gen starters because I know the sixth gen starters are good but not as good because you got you know Ash Greninja that was good Greninja personally was good so the fact that you get these other uh, starters into the mix these starters look a little bit better than the sixth gen Pokemon that we have for today uh, but I want to get to the point of the typing here because everybody was just really really crazy about the typing and it kind of concerned me as well I mean it didn't concern me personally but it concerned so many people about that typing and I just like well here you go you know here you freaking go with that so if i could just get up the internet to stop slowing me down why are you slowing me down oh my gosh come on there we go okay let's go to pokemon thank you Oh man, it is crazy. Super, super crazy. Can't tell you guys. I can't tell you guys. Super, super crazy. How everybody was gonna be like, ah, oh, this and that. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with uh, Roulette's evolution. Cause. This is where people were like, oh, is it going to be still grass flying or is it going to be you know, grass ground? And the thing is, it was a grass ghost type. Now, my thoughts on it being a grass ghost type, that's that's just adding like a third uh grass ghost type because you have uh punkaboo and then you have trevenant and these are the only two pokemon that are considered a gross grass type now we have Rolet's evolved form this final evolved form being ghost grass so the fact that it gone through its first stage as a grass and flying type and then the fact that his basic was being a grass flying type now he just like oh i'm just gonna drop the flying type and then become a ghost type and then there you go i'm a grass ghost now people were like why grass ghost well i feel like if you like look at how his pokedex entry yeah, it's it's kind of like one of those ninja type Pokemon if you think about it, and since he's like Robin Hood in a way or the Green Arrow, the fact is he's being sneaky. He's being you know stealth. You know you have to go through things to get past and then shoot an arrow basically. So the fact that he is living up that ninja lifestyle, this is why it made him part ghost instead of part flying as he is supposed to be still and I, I like how they did that I like how they made it like oh well we're just gonna have him grass ghost because it feels it makes sense since he's like the arrow of all arrows basically you know he's he's the green arrow he's he's basically being sneaky he's basically being the set Pokemon that could fit a grass and ghost type Pokemon. Cause you could see him getting him his getting himself around areas that you won't expect. A hey, you just wouldn't expect this Pokemon to come at you with an arrow. That's why it's a grass ghost type Pokemon. Like I like the design. I like the fact that it's a you know grass ghost type. 
I want to know exactly how strong it is, how much the speed that it's going to eventually get from that. Now, another thing that I feel like people had a freaking issue with that uh, finally it's, it's done and said, like, <clears throat> let's see where it's at. Do 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 do. Oh, and if you do hear like the like a that sound, it's the fan. I have the fan on. And if you don't hear it, it's because of, I finally fixed the uh, the little mic piece here where I get to actually at the little that. Sorry if that's too loud. But, you know, tapping it just to show the fact that I have this on here. Uh, let's get down to Litton's ev Evolution. This is where I think, like, everybody was like, what? It's, it's what it's supposed to be, not what it's not supposed to be. And now you can like, oh, the Pokemon company is listening to you guys, basically. Now, like I said, I didn't really matter what typing they could have did with this thing. Honestly, it could have been another firefighting. I, I just didn't really matter. But the fact that they like, okay, we're still going to keep it looking like how it is. But we're going to make it a, a fire dark type because you guys wanted it. So it's like saying like the company does listen. The Pokemon company does listen. So that's a good thing. That's a very good thing let's let's try to get onto the page though there we go so now we have this thing a fire dark type and it's called a healed pokemon i wonder why it's called a healed pokemon when it literally looks like a wrestler so it should have been like another lucha pokemon if you like with uh halucha basically But the fact that this thing is now a fire dark type and it still has the blaze ability. So we don't know if it does have the hidden ability yet or what could be its hidden ability. But the fact is, it's a fire dark type. Finally, a fire dark type being one of the starters. A new typing to the starter line that people could just now just... just Shut, sh shut, no, no sh shut. They could just shut up about it because it's a dark type now. It's a fire dark type. Accept it, believe in it. It's a fire dark type. Stop, stop, stop. So that's what I liked about this. I like the fact that it's a now officially a fire dark type. No one complain about it. No one could why and baby it it just like it's it's there it's a fire dark type except the fire dark type except that being in no life okay uh so knowing the fact of that that all that is said and done the fact that those pokemon are those typings that it is it'll be interesting who could beat who in that situation I still feel like uh, that Rolet's evolve form, his final evolve form, does have no chance of beating uh, Lin's final evolution line. And I feel like when it comes down to it, uh, it's only, uh, what you call it? Poplio's final evolution that's basically will be the breaking point where it's the strongest water type out of the main three like all the, I think that's what all the other water types are it's like like all the water if you notice all the water starters are basically the typing that actually beats the, the main three so it's kind of crazy when you think about it Oh snap, I went too far down. No. No, I wanted I wanted Pablo's evolve for. Come on. So, here's another thing. 
everybody was expecting it to be a water fairy. It turns out it is a water fairy. Now, why did it go down? Why did it go down? Why? Why did you go down? Okay. So, now the only thing about Pablio Final Evolution, I don't know why, 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 why do that? Why do that? Can you take me back? Can you take me back? That would be nice if you guys take me back. But, yeah, like, everybody was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a water fairy. It learned one of the fairy moves. It's going to definitely be a water fairy. Uh, but, and I think this is where everybody else was uh, hoping that it would have been for the, the final evolutions. That there would be a split evolution line. Because the fact that uh, Pablo's final evolution looks like a girl, a female character, you know, a female Pokemon. And they're just like, as you're setting it up, like how it looks like for uh, God of War when it was in, introduced in third gen, where they didn't have a male version of God of War, and everybody was just like, ah, what? Ah, I can't deal with this. It's it's a freaking girl, but it could be a boy, and then it's just like, ah. But then they fixed that in 4th gen where they actually can bring Gallade to the point where Gallade is now the male standalone Pokemon who's basically the split evolution of God of War. So the fact that they didn't introduce split evolution for these starters when they could have just made one girl, one boy, one girl, one boy, one girl, one boy, you know. It's it's kind of sucks. I mean, they didn't have to change the typing or anything. It just could have just like, oh, split the evolution. That's all you need to do. Just make one look like a boy. One make like a girl. Two make the other one look like a girl. There you go. You have the split evolutions. So they can still be the same types. You don't need to go overboard and change the typing all differently. It's just, you know, change the look of the male version of it change the the other ones into the female versions you know it just makes sense right to have the split evolution for starters it's like you give them new typing you could have just give them a new typing and split evolutions where that makes it even much better than any other evolution for any starter pokemon you just created a new set of you make this you make the starters way much better than what they're supposed to be if you would have did that and you probably would have had more fan base on those two typings because at least you would have been like oh i don't like this version of pablo or i like this version of uh linen's evolution or Rollet's evolution it just it was still with a gang the same typing if anything so like I said, I love Pablo's evolution, his final evolution. But the only problem I have with his evolution was the fact is it's just a female character. And my phone just telling me that my battery is super low. It is about to die soon. Uh, but before I finish off, like I said, Pablo's evolution, I love it. I just, I'm sad that it's, a, a, it's just going to be looking like a female character, a female Pokemon. So that's just saying that I'm going to have to have a female Pablo to evolve it into what it is. Because I can't rock out with a male Pablo that looks like a female Pokemon. Because that's just saying a trap, a trap, it's a trap. I can't do anything about traps, man. It's, it's going to be there. So... I'd rather keep my Pablo just the Pablo and not evolve it at all if it's a boy. And then I'll just use the final evolution as a girl. I will have a girl Pablo and fully evolve it into this Pokemon. So that's how I feel about that. And I think that's how uh, other people feel about this particular Pokemon because they feel like it should have been a split evolution as anything. Uh,. So if you guys enjoyed this and me talking about the discussion of 
this and everything. Uh, I'm not gonna try to do any discussion about the top of cocos or anything. I just wanted to get my thoughts out on the starters, the battle tree, the league, and everything. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna do another one. I probably won't do another one. I think this is the only chance I might do this. I might do another one. It, I don't know. Uh, but comment, share, scout by satellite button, pitch crochets on sale. Some guys. Bye.